In this video, I'm going to show you how to quickly set up a room with multiple dimmers. Now, the rules of plug and go tell us that all loads are going to automatically bind to all single button switches. And in many cases, this is exactly what you would want. However, in this case, we're going to have to make a few adjustments. Let me show you how to do this using the LMCT100 and the load configuration menu. The first step is to point the CT100 at the buttons, press the select, and you'll notice that the system goes into push and learn mode. Now we know this because we can see the red LED flashing quickly in the IR windows. Load 1 has turned on and all the other loads have turned off. We also can see this on the screen of the LMCT100. So now we have load 1 on and let's go ahead and set it up so that load 1 is on dimmer 1. We obviously don't want load 1 on dimmer 2 or dimmer 3. So I'm simply going to press the bottom of the dimmers to turn off the LEDs indicating that that load is no longer bound to those dimmers. Okay, we're going to use the CT100 to go to next, which will be the next load. Load 2. Okay, load two, we obviously want to have on the center dimmer. I'm going to go ahead and turn off the LED on one and three. I think that's what we want. And we'll go to next again, so we can go to load three. Okay, now we're going to turn off one, two, leaving load three on dimmer three. And we're done. So all we're going to do now is exit using the CT100. We're going to wait till we notice that the LED stops blinking in the window. And now we can confirm that the dimmers are acting the way we would like them. Load 1 on dimmer 1, load 2 on dimmer 2, and load 3 on dimmer 3. So there you have it. That's all there is to it. In another video, I'll show you how to set up the scenes.